This is the ETBU Sportsnet. I'm Adam P. Ledyard here with head football coach Joshua Ergel. Coach, you're back home this week. Take on Sol Ross State University in Ornella Stadium. Fifth home game of the year. Talk about being back home and playing uh, for your first American Southwest Conference uh, win. Yeah, we're 3-1 in Ornellis. We, we love playing at home. We love the atmosphere and, and the Tiger Alley and the Tiger Walk and uh, the Tiger Den over there with all the students in it. And, and uh, we, we're excited to be back home and in the friendly confines of Ornella Stadium. We need to give us a win. Uh, we had a lot of close games here recently, so we need to find a way that little extra uh, one or two points here and there to try to get us over the top and get the Tigers a win. Now, with the game against Louisiana College, you had Players of the Week. Talk about your Players of the Week for ETBU. Well, on, on, on special teams, A.J. Anderson blocked a punt for us that um, was picked up by the punter and, and ran out of the end zone before he could recover it. He got a safety. Um, and so we, he was our special teams player of the week. Uh, on offense, we had tons of guys. I mean, we, uh, Toy Glover got the end zone twice. Uh, Kendall Roberson had a big day running the football. And, and Josh Warburton was 72% completion rate. I mean, we just had a big day on offense. But Tyler Bates uh, continues to, to push his uh, personal uh, records uh, up a notch. And, uh, his 15 catches for 147 yards and touchdown got him our offensive player of the week. And defensively, I thought there were a lot of a lot of guys played uh, a lot of good games. Guys flying around uh, all over defense and playing good team defense. And um, Hardy Hill got him an interception and got two pass breakups and six tackles and played a, uh, a really solid game for us on defense. And he was our defensive player of the week. Now I'll recap the uh, the game against Louisiana College and their tough loss, three point loss to the Wildcats. But team played hard. Just recap the game for us. Well, uh, you know we, we come out, we playing strong, we score first, we're we're doing we're doing good, and then we got a seven play stretch um, where we boom a punt. Jake Burton, I mean, knocks the top off of it. Does a really good job. We get down there, we got three kids hemmed in on their punt returner, and he makes a phenomenal play, goes ninety yards on us, so, and, and we don't. We don't just make the play that we've been making. We make the rest of the game we've been making all year. And so that leads to a touchdown on special teams. Well, then right seven plays later, um, they block another. They block a punt for a touchdown. So that's a 14-point swing that, was, that created the hole that was tough for us to get out of. And we never really could get in sync the rest of the game, offense and defense at the same time, to really effectively you know conquer that 14-point deficit. Uh, hats off to losing in college. They did a great job. Uh, coach Dunn does a phenomenal job. He's a great coach over there, and, and uh, he's got those boys playing really, really well. Uh, they're going to go and have a good season. And uh, so we, we, didn't, we didn't lose to a bad football team. But uh, all of us in that locker room and, and, and everybody watching, all the fans, they, they won't see us get those extra three points, and we're going to try to find them this week. All right, Coach, thanks for talking to us on the ETV Sportsnet.